I was always of the belief that you can't eat delicious foods all day, every day, while still losing weight. But boy, was I mistaken. In today's video, we will eat five delicious meals that include cheesecake muffins, pizza, and ice cream that are all designed to fit within a calorie budget of 1800. Let's get into it. One thing I hate to do in the morning is cook, especially when I'm not that hungry. So I always look for the fastest and easiest thing possible for breakfast that has protein in it, of course. A common theme throughout this entire full day of eating is preparedness. And last week I made 12 of my brand new jumbo pumpkin cheesecake muffins. And every day for breakfast, I've been going through either one or two, depending on how big I want my dinner to be. And you may think, frozen, they must not be good. Actually, quite the contrary. <laughs> contrary. All we have to do is put these in here for about a minute, maybe a minute 10. There's usually nothing as good as when they first come out of the oven, any type of baked good. However, when these get heated up, the actual muffin part gets soft and moist, and the cheesecake part is like it just came out of the fridge and is still cold and perfect. So it's like you got the cold from the cheesecake and the warm from the muffin, and it's honestly like nothing else that I've ever had before. It's absolutely excellent. These were posted on the channel last week. They're also in my cookbook with step-by-step -step instructions. I highly recommend you check them out. These will also last in the fridge for multiple months. So it's so nice to just be able to come to the freezer, grab something, and you have a meal ready to go. And in under three minutes, we have breakfast. <laughs> I love my chocolate chip and blueberry muffins, but these might take the cake because of the cheesecake in the middle with the coldness and the warmness of the muffin part. Oh my God. For two jumbo muffins, we have 516 calories, 40 grams of protein, 55 carb, 18 fat. I'm gonna eat these and then we're gonna have some lunch. Dude, this is so good. If you like pumpkin and cheesecake, I really hope you try this. Damn, that should be looking fucking beautiful. Shit. For meal two or lunch, we are going to show that simplicity is king and simplicity doesn't have to lack in flavor. So we are going to start with something I prepped on Sunday, going back to what we're trying to do here, show you that prepping once a week makes a big deal is my protein pita. Currently frozen, but wrap it in a wet paper towel and then microwave it for 30 seconds and we should be good to go. While that's going, we can quickly get our vegetables prepped. This is only gonna take about 30 seconds. Beautiful. And if you've been on the channel before, you probably know we are making a ham and cheese pita. Since we are in a super hurry, you wanna make it as simple as possible. I'm not gonna toast this. I'm gonna make this straight on the parchment paper here. If I don't have that many calories right now, instead of two pieces of cheese, I'm only gonna use one. Spread the mayo out so you get mayo in every bite. And I could easily put the pita right on the scale and weigh out the ham that I need. Perfect. A little bit extra ham, a little bit less cheese, so we got more protein on this bitch. And then all we have to do is add our veggies. And to take this to the next level, we're gonna warm the ham and the cheese up, bring all these flavors together, and we're gonna put this in the microwave for about 20 seconds. I'm honestly still a little bit full for breakfast. I don't get that hungry until later in the day. And in under five minutes, we have lunch ready to go. Pure chef's kiss with an incredible macro profile. 
We're looking at 271 calories, 11 fat, 30 grams of carbs, which is oat fiber in here. So I think nine of the carbs actually don't count and 23 grams of protein. So let's go to meal three. It is about that time to take the best pre-workout in the industry, along with some glycerol for massive pumps before heading to the gym. <laughs> that shit's gas. However, I do wanna get a little pre-workout meal in, so soon after I get back home from the gym, I can have dinner. For that, we want protein and carbs. And for my protein source, I'm going to take a scoop and a half of the peanut butter cookie PE Science, which is absolutely delicious with just water and protein powder. If you wanna get some top tier pre-workout or protein powder, I will put links in the pinned comment and you could use code E4CM for 10% off your purchase. Now, I am going to pair this protein powder with some carbs in a container of blackberries. This is beautiful because I get my protein, I get my carbs, and I get a good amount of fiber in before I go to the gym, which will keep me full until I'm done, especially after cardio. Straight fucking fire. For this pre-workout meal, we have 254 calories, three fat, 21 carb, and 39 protein. I cannot wait for us to eat dinner after the gym. I just had a perfect chest and triceps day with a little bit of elliptical action afterwards, but what I didn't show you before I went to the gym and after I took my pre-workout was in about three or four minutes, I made a dough for dinner, but I didn't do any kneading at all. So right now we're going to do a simple stretch and fold to get some gluten development. And what's great is you just tug this a couple times, you get that extra dough. And now I'm gonna let this rise one more time for about an hour. And then we will make dinner. After kicking back and watching YouTube for the last hour, the dough is ready. Couldn't have been easier. It's time to make dinner, but this is enough for two doughs. So what I need to do is divide this in half. Since I'm eating both of these, I'm not gonna weigh it out. I'm gonna eat the other one tomorrow. There's no reason to like worry about the calories. The calories will even out after I eat them both. Get a little bit of oil and round this into a ball. And by tomorrow, this dough is gonna even have more flavor because it's gonna be fermenting in the fridge for probably the next 24 hours or so. As for this dough, I'm also going to get this into a circle, but I'm gonna put this into the bowl just for a minute and we're going to get the rest of the pizza pot pie recipe ready because the dough actually comes last, contrary to pretty much all other recipes that I've ever seen for pizza. Once again, the preparedness of this day makes everything so much easier. I always have a sauce ready to go. That one's about two weeks old, still tastes great. And I always have shredded cheese on the ready. As we know, there are no rules in the kitchen. This is my foolproof homemade marinara, which is different from the one that I make in my actual recipe. And I usually would like to use sliced cheese so it's easier to put around the rim here, but all I have is shredded with no rules, we're still gonna make this work. It's still gonna taste great. It might just not be as aesthetically pleasing, but who cares? Flavor is what we really care about. First things first, we gotta spray this. And with the shredded cheese, I'm gonna do the best I can with the amount that I could use to cover all parts of the bowl. I don't wanna see any black on the inside if I don't have to. Musket, I know you're gonna do something with that. I don't wanna see any black on the inside. Look at that, we got a beautiful bowl full of cheese. God, that sauce is so good. 
Honestly, with this dough, I totally forgot what I had to do even when reading the instructions. But the great thing about the cookbook is I just clicked on the title of the actual recipe and it takes you right to the recipe. So if there's any questions like, what does this look like? What do I really have to do? Am I doing this right? You can go right to the video and watch it and it keeps getting updated. I mean, now we're almost at 130 recipes and it's only gonna get bigger. I have no plan to stop making recipes anytime in the near future or even the far future. So if you want the best recipe book in the game that keeps updating and you actually get the recipes before anyone else, check out the link in the description and use code E4CM so you can save 10% on the cookbook. Now this dough can't be easier. We just have to spin it in a circle and we're just letting gravity do all the work. Just try to spread it little by little. It'll probably take one to two minutes, but that's nothing. And we got a dough in the fridge ready to go for tomorrow. Like I'm stoked. I have pizza sauce, cheese, and the dough ready. So all I'm gonna have to do, oh my God, is put my oven on and get everything in the bowl. One thing I always forget to do, preheat the damn oven. This is about wide enough. Ooh, I got a little hole. Ripped a little hole in her. As soon as the oven is preheated, I'm gonna throw this in here and I will see you back for the perfection that this creates in just about 15 minutes. Beautiful. We got a couple things that we have to do to level this up. First thing is get some butter on the top. We're also gonna start broiling here and I'll tell you why in a minute. We're gonna spread some butter on the crust, make sure we get the sides too, and then we gotta give it the quick flip. And then we're gonna go along the edge and reveal our pot pie. Now the reason we put that oil down was to make sure that we don't get any stickage and everything came out very nicely. Just a little bit of cheese stuck in there. And that wouldn't have happened if we had the slices of cheese either, but that's nothing. This recipe is based off a famous place in Chicago called Pizza Oven Grinders Company. What they usually do is exactly this, and this is how they serve it to you. However, if you've ever seen a pizza before, you know that the top is typically brown. And while I love cheese in every single form, give me all of the cheese, besides Swiss, that shit sucks ass. Any pizza should be browned in my opinion, if you could do that. So I have the broil setting on, and we're gonna broil this for just a minute or so to get the cheese nice and brown. Absolutely gorgeous. And because of the fact that I already had the cheese and sauce in my fridge, always have it ready to go, and the dough only took a couple minutes to make, even with making the bowl and getting it in the oven, it was like 10 minutes of work for a fresh pizza pot pie. You can't beat it. I am hungry as shit. For this pizza, we have 594 calories, 18 fat, 65 carb, and 46 protein. For a pizza that is delicious as shit, can't beat it. However, you know we don't skip dessert in this house. So as soon as I eat this beauty, it's time to eat some ice cream. All right, I had to return real quick to show you the absolutely ridiculous cheese pull that this thing makes. See you for dessert, okay, bye. If you've watched the channel in any capacity for any amount of time, you know that I love to cream. And tonight is gonna be no different. I always have about 10 flavors minimum in the freezer at all times ready to go. But I need something that is right around 200 calories all in. To do that, I made a slightly tweaked version of my good chocolate base. I'm gonna run this under some water, let the creamy do its thing, and let's cream together. I mean, can we get much better than this? This looks gorgeous. It took me about mm, five minutes when I made it, and then it took me 
pretty much no minutes tonight. I mean, come on, what are we even talking about? People that don't eat ice cream and pizza while they're trying to lose weight are out of their mind. This just makes life so much easier. Oh my God. Okay, I need to give you the macros so I can eat this right now and just lay in bed and just be so happy with everything that I ate today. I replaced the almond milk with fat-free milk to make the protein higher. Don't really care about the extra calories, but I just wanted that extra boost in flavor as well. Milk over almond milk all day, every day. For this entire pint, we have 185 calories, 25 protein, 62 carb, 50 of which are from the Swerve, and two fat. On the day, that puts us at 1,820 calories, 51 fat, 260 carb. I have no idea how many like actual carbs, aka calories, come from the carbs. I'm guessing around 190, and 173 grams of protein. And I honestly couldn't be more satisfied. And I had four, five meals. I mean, you can makeshift all of these recipes and make it work for you and just make dieting so easy. Now, if you need more options for meals, you can check out this video here. I go over three different meals that are just as delicious, but only have a total of 1600 calories on the day. Until next time, deuces.